On examination, the patient is averagely built and averagely nourished. Height is 152 cm. Is the height normal? Yes, sir. By Indian standards, a height of 148 cm or more is considered as normal, while less than 148 cm is considered as short stature. What is the significance? Short stature females may have a generalized contracted pelvis which will obstruct normal vaginal delivery so one should be suspicious about the obstetrical value of the pelvis patient's weight is 52 kg what is the normal weight gain during pregnancy the total weight gain is 11 to 12 kg in the first trimester there is no significant weight gain or the weight may even be reduced due to morning sickness from fourth month the weight increases on an average by 0.5 kg per week Abnormal weight gain is associated with preeclamptic toxemia due to fluid and salt retention while poor weight gain is associated with intrauterine growth retardation. Pulse is 80 per minute, regular, good volume. Blood pressure is 110 by 70 mm of mercury in right upper extremity with patient in 15 degree left lateral tilt. Why have you taken the blood pressure in left lateral tilt? To avoid supine hypotension. After 28 weeks of pregnancy, in supine position, the gravid uterus presses on the inferior vena cava, reduces the amount of blood returning to the heart, and causes a fall in blood pressure. No pelop, minimal pitting edema over the ankles. What is the cause of this edema? In later weeks of pregnancy, pressure over inferior vena cava causes mild edema of the legs. Edema may also be seen in cases of preeclamptic toxemia. severe anemia and hypoproteinemia and in associated renal hepatic and cardiac diseases no cyanosis clubbing or lymphadenopathy breasts are engorged with deeply pigmented primary and secondary areoli and montgomery's tubercles what are the breast changes seen in pregnancy the breasts increase in size and exhibit thin watery secretions from 8 to 10th week The nipple and areola become more deeply pigmented. Secondary areola, a zone of irregular wave-like pigmentation, appears around the primary areola. Montgomery's tubercles appear as small, non-pigmented nodules on the areola, and the base skin towards the end of the pregnancy shows dilated veins under the skin and small stripes due to stretching of the skin. What are Montgomery's tubercles? They are enlarged sebaceous glands. seen on the areola as 10 to 20 small non pigmented nodules on systemic examination respiratory system is normal no extra sounds heart sounds are normal no murmur on examination of abdomen the abdomen is uniformly distended linea nigra and stria gravidarum are seen what are linea nigra and stria gravidarum linea nigra is the darkly pigmented line extending from umbilicus to pubic symphysis it appears due to increased activity of melanocyte stimulating hormone during pregnancy stri gravidarum are pink pigmented lines on both sides of abdomen sometimes on adjacent parts of buttocks and thighs due to stretching of the skin after termination of pregnancy they turn white pale and silvery and are called as stri albicans In multipara, both may be present. What are the other causes of stri albicans? Any condition leading to excessive stretching of abdominal skin, for example, ascites, large ovarian tumor, can give rise to stri albicans. On palpation, fundal height corresponds to 32 weeks. How do you know the gestational age from the fundal height? At 12 weeks, the uterus is palpable just above the symphysis pubis. At 24 weeks, it is at the umbilicus, and at 36 weeks, at the sternum. Each of the areas between these points are divided into three parts by two lines above and two lines below the umbilicus, corresponding to 16 and 20 and 28 and 32 weeks of pregnancy. After 36 weeks, uterine head decreases and flanks become full as the head gets engaged and amount of lycra decreases. The height of uterus is 28 cm so the gestational age is 32 weeks and estimated fetal weight is 2480 grams 
How did you calculate the gestational age and the fetal weight? I first measured the height of uterus in centimeters from the upper border of the symphysis pubis. Then by McDonald's formula, that is gestational age is equal to height of uterus in centimeters into 8 by 7 and fetal weight in grams is equal to height of uterus in centimeters minus 12 into 155 and if the head is engaged, subtract 11 instead of 12. Proceed. Abdominal girth is 60 centimeters. What is its significance? It is another parameter to watch the fetal growth. Abdominal girth at the level of umbilicus increases by about 1 inch every week after 30 weeks. 